Well, good morning. Welcome to this presentation called Balancing Trade-Offs, Taming Signal Integrity Challenges in Millimeter Wave Antenna to Bits Implementations. This presentation is a collaboration between uh, five companies, notably Samtech, MathWorks, Otava, Rodian Schwartz, and myself from Avnet. My name is Luc Lemaglois from Avnet, where I have a team of developers especially focusing on baseband, namely Xilinx RFSOC, which will form the baseband of this solution. So what are we uh, focusing on today? Here is a, uh, a high-level block diagram of the signal chain, uh, starting from the baseband at the left, which is really my domain at Avnet. Um, this is, on the left, going to be an RFSOC uh, platform that I will describe, although that's not the, the main feature of, uh, of this, this presentation since we are at an RF conference. Nevertheless, the signal chain does start at the baseband. Uh, we will also be talking about um, millimeter wave beamforming with Otava and uh, some design uh, techniques with MathWorks and some measurement uh, techniques with Rodi and Schwartz. So all of these uh, carabouts will be covered uh, from the signal chain, the IF, the RF, the uh, signal integrity through the interconnect, um, some simulation aspects with MathWorks, prototyping, measurement, and test. All of that is part of, uh, of this, uh, this presentation. So what are we actually trying to do here? Well, we want to create a versatile millimeter wave phased array development system with a unified design flow from digital to RF serving a multidisciplinary team. And some of the main themes, signal integrity within the signal chain from the baseband to RF, uh, combining the RF measurements with MATLAB behavioral models, and some test and measurement techniques. So those are going to be the, the main themes of this morning. No need to uh, tell you that the phase array market is uh, significant. Um, you'll see various numbers off the web, but these are the main um, application segments that we uh, focus upon, namely, uh, of course, 5G, and then uh, SATCOM seems to be uh, exploding in terms of popularity. Um, obviously, automotive radar, although that's not our focus for today, and of course, defense applications all the way from uh, communications to EW to uh, phase array radar, of course, is, is a huge application for phase array uh, processing. The, uh, the system that we have today <clears throat> is uh, a combination of various elements, namely uh, starting on the left, that is uh, kind of my domain. We focus on AMD, formerly Xilinx. Uh, this happens to be an RFSOC with integrated multi-channel data converters that is driving the IF. And uh, we control that from a MATLAB application. MATLAB is very popular for modeling, simulation, as well as code generation. So uh, we do have techniques that allow Simulink models to be uh, generate code, namely HDL and C code, for implementation of some applications. Um, and from there, we, we go through uh, a, a daughter card that we call the DTRX2. That's an up and down converter to and from IF to millimeter wave and we will describe the DTRX2. We have integrated that all within the MATLAB environment to, uh, to control the up and down converter from the IF up to six gigahertz, and then up to the millimeter wave up to uh, 31 gigahertz. And from there, we would um, potentially drive the Otava uh, PAM phase array module with uh, their, their front end line cards to do some beam forming. And of course, there are uh, the Otava tunable filters, which they will be showing at the booth and that Wen will be describing in greater detail. So here are the, uh, the, main, the main sections from the block diagram. On the left, as I mentioned, is where we create the, uh, the baseband signals. We can generate just about anything from MATLAB, uh, whether it be the 5G standard compliant. Uh, they have a SATCOM toolbox to generate some uh, DVB-S2, DVB-S2X, standard compliant waveforms, also some radar waveforms, uh, just a, any, any variety of uh, signals can be generated and then uh, loaded up into the board to drive the, the DACs and vice versa, 
we can acquire through the uh, multi-channel ADCs. And between uh, the IF and the, um, <clears throat> the next section, of course, would be where you would uh, potentially have some, some filtering. And Otava has some excellent solutions there with uh, highly tunable filters um, that, that you see throughout the signal chain. And finally, up to the beamforming and the phase array module. So um, I, I won't read off all the, the elements here, but it, you know, there's, there's a lot of considerations in, in this type of design that we will touch upon. So antenna to bits uh, hardware components, as I just said, um, the, the signal chain with the Otava phase array module uh, covers the, the last two parts. Um, and in the middle, we have the, uh, the DTRX2 uh, over here with uh, the, uh, the Xilinx RFSOC platform. And with that, we cover the entire signal chain. So with that introduction, I will hand it off to, to Wen from Otava to uh, describe the, uh, in more detail the, the next section.